Speedy Naylor, wide receiver from Michigan State, joins me today. And uh, Speedy, first things first, we all know you as Jalen Naylor, but your your nickname is Speedy. You got to you got to explain that to me. <laughs> all right. So uh, it was my first year of football, tackle football. Uh, very first week we was doing sprints at the end of practice. The whole week I was winning pretty much every time. So. By the end of that week, my head coach, uh, Coach Haywood, he started calling me Speedy. And then I was like, I'm just, I'm just take it from there. And then I just kept it since then. So I feel like with a, with a nickname like that, you can never get walked down. Has that ever happened right. in your life? Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe once. It, it was close. It was kind of, kind of a walk down, but he kind of had a good angle. Okay. But uh, well, I'll say once. <laughs> So we were talking uh, off camera. So I was talking to uh, Kenny McCardo, wide receivers coach here for the Minnesota Vikings. And I was like, all right, like I watched some of Speedy's tape. Like, dude, is solid. Like can run, can do everything you need. I was like, I need to know a little bit more about him. He was like, ask him this. Who was Speedy's Pop Warner coach growing up? My Pop Warner coach? Yeah. Uh, I had plenty, but uh, Coach Snoop was. Snoop, Snoop Dogg? Dog? <laughs> yes, sir. So were you on the documentary or on the show on Netflix at all? No, no, I, I was I was way before that. I was way before that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but, but I did I did uh, play with Snoop. So how was Snoop Dogg? Because we know him as a rapper, you know, just the 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 global icon he is. But how was he as a coach? I mean, he, he's he's the same way as he is, like with his music and stuff. He real chill, laid back, like always just joking around and stuff. But okay. once it's like time to be serious and stuff, he'll get serious and lock in. But for the most part, it's more like laid back, just having fun, just trying to enjoy it. Hmm. I get that. And I feel like being from California, that's kind of the, the vibe out there. But, you know, growing up, having to move to Vegas when you went to high school to go to Bishop Gorman, to move to Michigan State to go play college ball. How has all those stops prepared you for this moment here with the Minnesota Vikings? I mean, it's just all different types of um, environments that I had to be in and, and different type of people I had to learn from. So, I mean, from California, I had to learn from people like Snoop, my pops, other guys like that. And then came to high school, had the coaches here. We had the uh, guys ahead of me that, that, that uh, that's in the league right now that's played college ball. So I had those guys to learn from. And then college, you know, um, I already got guys there, Felton Davis, Cody White, uh, mm -hmm. those type of guys. They they helped me along the way. And um, I'm, I'm just grateful for them, uh, grateful for their knowledge that they dropped off to me that I could give on to the younger generations to come. I know just being from going to Bishop Gorman in Vegas, one of the best high school football teams in America every single year um, The we were talking before the standard is to win states. And if you win a national championship, cool. Like that's, that's great too. But it, it kind of gets to an expectation of like, okay, this guy's going to go to Bishop Gorman, go to college, uh -huh. go to college, go play in the league. But every story is different. Your story is different from everybody else's. How has your story propelled you to get you to this point? Because Outside looking in, it's like, okay, it's kind of expected, but, like, you work hard. Right. Uh, it was a lot of stuff that, that a lot of people don't see behind the scenes, you know, uh, the, the late nights, you know, the early mornings of the workouts, stuff like that. They, they, they don't see what goes on behind the scenes. They don't see what, what's happening on the field and on TV and stuff like that. So um, just, just the work that I put in um, ever since I was a little kid with my dad, you know, he, he the one that really got me going um, with, with being focused and hard work, you know, and that, that's something that I, I try to try, try to do every day, just try to keep that going, just try to be dedicated and motivated every day. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's hard, but it's just the just little stuff outside outside of football, the, the little things. Mm. Did that did the, did the move from going from Vegas to West Coast to Michigan, did, did that help you as far as like growing up and your mindset of like, OK, I got to take this thing serious in order for me to get to that next step? Oh, um, I'll say the biggest change for me was from from the high school to, to college, you know, okay. just going from being with family all the time to going to all the way across the country by myself in a whole different different place. You know, it's cold. <laughs> I'm not used to that weather. I don't really know, know many people out there. So that, that, was, that was rough for me, um, just trying to get used to the environment, get used to the people. And so um, I'm grateful I had my teammates that was there early with me to uh, kind of help me along with that. Now, you know, Graduating from Michigan State, being a Minnesota Viking, has it has it sat yet? Has it sank in? It's been a few days since your name got called. Like, is it, I know it's you know rookie mini camp is coming up, but has it has it hit? Um, no, I don't think it'll hit till I till I get there. 
until till I'm in the facility and stuff like that, till I see my name in the locker and stuff like that. So probably then that that's when it'll hit, but <laughs> it hasn't hit yet. All right. Well, when it when it hit, well, when it hit, it's it's, it's going to be here, and that's going to be a, a few days from now. So yes, when, when Vikings fans see you, you know, with your new jersey number, I know it's not going to be number eight. Right? Even right. though Kirk Cousins wore number eight at Michigan State, probably mm-hmm. he's probably not going to get that up to you when you get here. <laughs> um, <laughs> but more importantly, what are Vikings fans getting from you when you actually put on that purple and gold? Uh, guy that's going to give one hundred ten percent every day. You know. Um, Guys gonna come in, work hard, you know, try to try to contribute to the team in any type of way, whatever the coaches need out of me. And that's all that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it to my best of my ability. Man, we're looking forward to it. I know it's a few days, only a few days till you get up here. So I know you already got your bags packed. Man, I can't wait. (laughs) Yes, sir. Can't wait to get up there.